Hello, hello. I'm Amanda, product manager at Niantic. Um, and we are here to share some major updates from Niantic around our creator tools. Very excited to share some background on this with you. Um, and then we also have Rigel, who's going to take us through some demos. So let's get started. Uh, yes, this is us. All right, who here has used Eighth Wall? OK, wow, a lot of you, a lot of you. All right, thank you for being a part of our community. This is great. Um, for those that are not familiar with 8th Wall, it's the leading platform for building web AR. And at 8th Wall, we are big fans of the web. Uh, the web is universal, it's flexible, it's immediate. And your users can access your content without needing to download any apps. Um, and it's on everybody's phone. So since 2018, 8th Wall has been bringing some incredible AR power to the browser. Let's talk about that for a second. With the 8th Wall engine, you get access to advanced features like world tracking, VPS, sky effects, image targets, and a lot more. And all of this is made about available on the browser. And 8th Wall's engine also lets you develop XR cross-platform experiences, uh, including on headsets. So headsets like the HoloLens, MetaQuest, and now Apple Vision Pro. So users across mobile devices, across desktop, across basically any device with a browser can access your content. Uh, we've seen developers run 8th wall experiences on Pelotons, on Teslas, on refrigerators. So with 8th wall, it is truly universal. 8th uh, wall also has a suite of creator tools for you to build those experiences. Tools like the code editor, like built-in hosting, like our AR and device simulator. Um, and these tools are gonna help you collaboratively build, edit, and distribute your XR content. Eighth Wall developers have built hundreds of thousands of web AR apps that have been experienced by hundreds of millions of viewers. Um, and then we've been working closely with this global creator community and we've been listening to your feedback, feedback on what you want to build and feedback on the problems that you run into in your creation. And let's talk a little bit about some of the key feedback we've heard. We've heard feedback from developers coming from a gaming background, finding it challenging to translate their ideas into 2D web frameworks. We've also heard feedbacks on, uh, from our design community coming into web AR and being greeted with a oh, block of code is somewhat intimidating. Um, feedback also from users of 3D tools that are finding some of the XR features are limited to just building face effects or simple world filters. We hear your issues, and at 8th Wall, we are committed to solving them. Um, we also want to you know, uh, bring the, the web forward. And we think the web is going to be the best platform for the next generation of immersive content. Uh, but we hear you in that we need new or better tooling in order to get there. And that leads us to what I'm very excited to share with you today. We have just launched Niantic Studio. Yeah. Uh, just as of this morning. Um, so this is a new tool available on eighthwall.com. Uh, it's in now public beta, and we've been envisioning and building Niantic Studio, uh, which is a major evolution of the eighthwall platform. Uh, so let me introduce you to Studio. So our mission, Studio's mission, is to empower creators, you, to build the next generation of immersive content right in the browser. And by creators, we mean not just web developers, but a broader ecosystem of designers and programmers uh, who are coming to web AR, maybe from 3D design, maybe from a gaming background, maybe with XR or AR technology experience, maybe not uh, with a coding background or not. Studio lets you build flexibly, and it supports you in building across a spectrum of spatial use cases and modalities. And our approach to Studio was to take our universal web platform and combine that with a new visual editor and an all new game engine. And we're aware of the web platform, but let me take you through some of these two, uh, these two key new players here. So first we have our visual editor. 
you can now build in 3D with instant feedback. Uh, so no longer are you coming to 8th wall and greeted by that wall of code. And you can do things like drag and drop assets, you can visually configure your scene, add different elements, update textures, update materials. Or if you prefer to work in code, you of course can do that. And now you have a 3D viewport to see your changes reflected back immediately. Another key feature that you're seeing here, which Rigel is also going to demonstrate, is live simultaneous editing and playback. This is a really unique aspect of Studio that's designed to accelerate your developer flow. All right, we're also bringing a web game engine to the table with Studio. So 8th Wall has been known for its XR engine, um, and developers have been using that engine along increasingly with different game systems and interaction systems to build more interactive and immersive content. Um, we see a gap in the tooling uh, for tools that really bring XR interaction systems and gaming systems together well. And that was our approach to the design of the new 8th Wall engine um, to uh, let you build more personalized, more interactive, more responsive content that provides more entertainment, more value to the end user. Okay, I talked about some of these features, but there is a lot more that's baked into the tooling. Um, and this is really just the start. We have a ton of new features in the pipeline around gaming, around 3D design, around XR. And we absolutely want your feedback. We want to hear what's working, what's not working in Studio, what you want to be able to build. Um, and then we want to help you build the next generation of XR content together. Okay, so I've introduced Studio, talked about it, but I'm sure you want to see it in action. So I'm going to pass it now to Rigel, who's going to take us through getting started with Studio. Thanks, Amanda. Hi, everybody. All right, so Studio, it begins here, whenever you open a new project with Studio, this is what you'll see. Um, this gorgeous floating glass panel interface design that we have here, it serves as an overlay. Um, so it kind of frames your content as you work on it. Um, on the left-hand side, you'll see we have a scene hierarchy. Um, below that, file directory. Uh, and on the right, we've got an inspector, as well as uh, you know, kind of doubles as your project settings page. Um, and of course, at the bottom is our console. So you can pull this up and then see all of your uh, console logs and errors. All right, this is also fully customizable. So there you go. Uh, yeah, so we've got light mode uh, for when it's daytime and dark mode for most of the time you're coding. Uh, <laughs> we also have uh, Vim key bindings for all that, same that same group. Um, and we have uh, Skybox customization. Um, you can change uh, gradients, images. Uh, all this syncs back to your scene as a landable change. Um, coming over from our cloud editor product is our code editor. So this is built on Monaco, which is the same editor that powers VS Code. Um, it can be used both inline uh, or popped out in a standalone window. And uh, of course, we have built-in source control. This is also coming from Cloud Editor. Um, so this is support for multiple clients, project history. You can view diffs. Uh, you can handle uh, merge conflict resolution. And all of this collectively allows for large teams to build complex projects at scale safely and quickly. A new thing um, for Studio is uh, inputs. So we have our own in, uh, built-in input manager, which lets you build sophisticated cross-platform input maps uh, and then quickly switch between those on the fly. Um, because you know, when you're producing content that works in a lot of different places, it's going to use a lot of different kinds of inputs. But the feature I'm most excited to talk about today is what we call Live Sync. Um, so Live Sync. Uh, is kind of the core to the developer experience of what Studio is. Um, here, everything actually happening on the right in the simulator is syncing back to the Studio view, including all of the physics simulation. Um, so this is all running in an iframe on the right, but you'll see everything that you're doing is happening now in the Studio interface. Um, and so we call this bi-directional sync uh, because 
the left hand side affects the right hand side and vice versa. Um, and in this example, um, at the end, whenever I disconnect, uh, oh yeah, I can pause it, I can manipulate it, you kind of freeze time. See here, I'll play it back in a second. Um, but so far, nothing has saved. And if I disconnect the, the client, as you saw there, everything reverts back. Um, however, as a developer, you actually have control at any point during live sync, whether you want changes made during sync uh, to write back to your scene. Um, and So here, if I toggle this Save Edits button, um, all of the edits that I make during playback will write back um, as landable changes to my project. Um, and you can toggle this on or off to, at any point during playback, depending on like, what changes you want to save or discard. So here, I can just keep going, and I've got a cool ramp for my ball. And this is a really powerful feature um, because you can do a lot of different things with it. So I've been showing a simulator, but of course, you'll also be able to scan a QR code with your phone, right? And remotely connect and drive the, the studio interface from any device you want to connect wirelessly. So here, I've, I'm screen mirroring my phone. You can see what this looks like. I actually have a gamepad connected to my phone, um, and I'm moving the ball around um, on my iPhone, and all of those events are happening and syncing back to the studio interface. And of course, it's not just phones, right? Like Amanda mentioned, any browser uh, that can have access to a link from Studio can drive the Studio action. So uh, yeah, HMDs um, are a big category. Uh, but then also, you know, yeah, smart refrigerators. Whatever you want to put in here, we can, we can sync it. Um, and it also works the other direction. Um, here, for fun, I actually open Studio on my iPhone. Um, in here, and I'm using iOS Color Picker to change the color on my desktop client. Um, and it works just as well, just on a smaller screen. But it's a, a nice reminder that this whole thing is just a website, making other websites. Uh, pretty incredible. Um, so yeah, I encourage all of you to like mix and match different device types and find something that's like, you know, that we haven't even thought of. Beyond just, uh, you know, syncing uh, like for 3D, we also have a, a really robust um, simulation uh, tool that we call the simulator, and we can run AR sequences directly in the simulator. All of that is then synced back uh, to the studio interface in the same way. And so this is a great example of bidirectional sync in action where I'm spawning cacti on the right-hand side, uh, and then I can then modify the spawn cacti from the studio interface, and then they're all being rendered back live um, as the camera's moving through the virtual scene. Um, and what's really incredible about this is uh, this simulator on the right is actually the AR engine from 8th Wall running directly on top of those sequences in real time. So uh, this is not a canned animation of a camera path. This is the real 8th Wall engine running. Um, and, uh, and again, because it's all so fluidly synchronized, um, you can author against the real world rather quickly, um, which is pretty cool, especially um, when you start to connect the dots between all the other things Niantic is doing with our map and VPS um, and splats. So you can kind of squint, see where we're going with this. Um, but you know, not just for world effects, we also support face effects. Uh, so here we have uh, three, uh, you know, three people in the simulator uh, being tracked, and then all of their face positions are being synced here in the simulator, or sorry, in the studio. Uh, and I even recorded this uh, last night at the uh, hotel of uh, myself live on device, just you know tweaking the colors of my glasses um, as I'm like moving my head around. Okay, but to help you get started with Studio, um, we have several starter projects you can clone today. So in addition to all the projects I just showed you, the ball um, with the physics. Um, we also have these 
uh, amazing sample games from our friends at Mousepack, who've done a tremendous job helping us out. Um, oh, I wish you could see Botanical Blaster, uh, but uh, maybe you know, you'll just have to go to the website and clone it for yourself. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, this, is, uh, this has been just a, an incredible experience getting uh, the opportunity to design this product and, uh, and continue to like, work with all of you incredible creative developers to see how far you can push this. Um, and uh, let's see. OK. Uh, but we do have one more thing. So in the six years that I've been designing 8th Wall products, um, we've got two major criticisms that kind of stand above all the other ones, right? The first one is, what? No visual editor? OK, so we, we did that. Um, but the second one is, I'm sure you're all familiar with, is you're too expensive, um, <laughs> which we hear a lot. And it's like, you know, you Google 8th Wall, you see the Reddit, you know, people, people say this a lot, um, which is why I'm so excited to announce that everything you just saw today is free. Um, <laughs> and this means you can go sign up right now, no credit card required. Uh, you can scan this QR code. Um, and uh, you know, if you have your laptop with you, you can start developing. Or I guess if you're on your phone, you can start developing. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we're just so excited to see what all of you build. And um, this is, is such an exciting moment for us. Um, as you know, we look forward to the future of web-based augmented reality and uh, 3D interactive gaming. Um, and with that, uh, Amanda and I will be uh, out in the hall at the Niantic uh, booth to answer any questions that you have. Thank you so much.